Uh, I talked about um, how sometimes we're frustrated, we're not exactly sure, we're a little bored, we don't know exactly, are we getting anything done, are we not getting anything done? Uh, I use a five letter uh, acronym, SMART, the letters in SMART, to come up with goals so that I know that I'm on track for what it is that I need to get done. And so, uh, S-M-A-R-T, I have specific and measurable goals with actions and resources over time. That's the fast version. Now the slow version is, I pick a goal, uh, where's the trumpet player? What's your first name? Matt. Matt. So Matt, is one of your goals to play higher? Yes. Yes, okay. It's okay. You don't have to apologize. If you're a trumpet player, that comes from the territory. So uh, Matt, how high? So we're going to create a smart goal for Matt right now. Uh, your, your highest comfortable note is what right now? With a really beautiful sound, that's the, that's the key. Like Probably the high C. High C, okay. So Matt can play a high C. Comfortable sound. If we had, we're not going to, but if we had you come up and play it, you play it, everything's good, everybody claps throws money at you, and then I'll throw it. So we're going to try and uh, create a goal for Matt. So Matt's goal is to play higher, which sounds like a goal. I want to be able to play higher. I want to be able to play faster. I want my double tongue to be faster. It sound, it, you can trick yourself into thinking that's a goal, but it's not because we don't know, well, where are you? Where do you want to be? What specifically, how will we know that you did it or you didn't do it? So Matt could go from a C to, well, where would you like to go? Let's measure that. So from a C to a G. Okay, now we have a gap. How many half steps is that? Eight. Okay, good. So <laughs> we want to get that far. All right. So now we have a specific and measurable goal. We know it's measurable because he can play a G or he cannot play a G. Simple as that. If your goal is to play your double tongue from to increase it from 80 to 100, well, we're going to put the metronome on it at 100 on the agreed rhythm, and you can do that or you can't do that. If, it, if, you, if it's not this or this, then we don't have a measurable goal. We have to have a specific measurable goal to be able to track our progress. If we want to go from here to Miami, that's easier than saying, I want to go from here on vacation. Well, that's nice. Where? Where? Where are we going? So we know where we're going now. We're going to a G. And now we get to the, the meat of it, which is the A and the R. So specific and measurable from a C to a G with a nice sound, right? Um, and we could get more specific. So I want to be able to pick it off, or I want to be able to play it at all dynamics, or I want to be able to play a scale up to it, you understand what I mean? Like get as specific as you can when you're creating these things. Now, we got to come up, we're going to all help Matt come up with some actions and resources, verbs and nouns, to help him achieve that goal. What's one action or resource that he could use? He needs a trumpet, there's a resource. That would be more useful probably than trying to play a C on a trumpet without. Uh, what else? Action or resource? Don't overthink it. These are very simple, basic things. Scales. Scales, perfect. Five more. Lip slurs. Lip slurs, great. Could be a thing, could be an intangible like time. Can't use that one now because I said it. What else? Airflow. Airflow is great. Air exercises. Long tones. Long tones, perfect. Three more. You're way overthinking this. How about. Mouthpiece buzzing. How about a mirror? How about videotape? How about a teacher? How about recording yourself? How about uh, Charlie Day? How about uh, Arvin's book? How about Clark? You know, like the, the, all that stuff. But if you don't think, well, what are the things that I need? Then you get in the room and you're like, oh, if I had a mirror, this would be easier. Ahead of time, figure out what is it the stuff, what is it that I need? Do I need to set up an appointment with my teacher? Do I need the internet connection so I can pop online and see how Jose Sabaha plays so I can watch? And try and figure out, pick, okay, what did he do right before that? The breath was this, and he did this, and now that note came out. Okay? So that's the stuff. So gather as much of that stuff as you can. Actions and resources. Okay? And then the last one is the trickiest one to figure out, which is time. By when. So we have a specific and measurable goal. So we're going to play from a C to a G with a nice sound. We're going to do all that stuff, and we're going to use all that stuff. But by when. So you could say by 5 o'clock today. And that might be achievable, but if so, it's probably not aggressive enough of a, of a challenge, right? Because otherwise you would have picked a double C or something. Uh, and you might say in 20 far, 24 and a half years. That's probably a little too far out to be significant. So what, let's, pick a, let's pick a time for you. A month. What's that? A month. A month. Perfect. So now we can measure it. So a C to a G by this time next month. And what does that mean? It means that this time next week, you need to be where? D or D should be flat, you know, somewhere in there. So you, if you're going from here to Miami and you want to be there at X o'clock, you can look and say, okay, I'm at the right mile marker to get there. So I either need to speed up, that's legally allowed, 
if you're going at a permissible velocity, or you need to adjust your goal. And so this is the one you're going to have to experiment with. So in a week or two weeks, you're going to look at it and you go, I'm going to get to a G in two weeks, or I'm not going to get anywhere near a G, maybe by the end of the semester, or maybe by the end of the summer, something like that. So I would, what I'm hoping is that if you adhere to this idea, if this idea clicks with you, steal it, use it, use it every day. Uh, and be very gentle with yourself in terms of the time part of it. Because that's the part that's going to take some finesse in figuring out, uh, this should be a little bit, I should have said it, the time this farther out or, or sooner, okay? And just the, the act of doing it over and over again, you'll get a better feel for what's the right amount of time. And once you get into it and you figure out, I went from a C to a C sharp like that, okay, so I can adjust based on, when you get a little bit of data, when you get to the, you get 15 miles down the road, you see what time it is and what traffic looks like. Then you can evaluate, you can more uh, uh, accurately evaluate whether you're going to make it to Miami uh, when you hoped you would. Okay? Does that make sense? It's not brain surgery. It's just a matter of being organized. So then I go into the practice room, and I, or you go in the practice room, and you know it's not just this big nebulous practice that I have to do. I have to work on with those things that we talked about, airflow and, and the Clarks, da da da. I need to get to a C sharp by tomorrow or the next day or whatever it is. You're not shooting for the G in the in the day to day. You're shooting for what's the next incremental step. If you're doing multiple tongue, you're going to go from 80 <coughs> to 85 this week. That's the goal. And so then now it's just okay. I have to set aside 15 minutes to work on articulation, which is different than I have this big nebulous practice thing. It's this thing and this thing and this thing. I ask students all the time. Because uh, they'll say, well, one of the most uh, often asked questions of us is, how much do you practice a day? And then I'll say, well, how much time do you spend on math? And it just short circuits their brain. Because they do math until they're out of problems. And I practice until I'm done with the things that I wanted to get done that day. So there's no, there's no difference in my head. I have a certain list of problems or math problems, the equivalent, that I'm working on in my practice every day. I've got different pieces I'm learning or things I'm memorizing or things I'm working on in my skills. And when I've done those things, I'm done, unless I want to play some more just for fun. So the practice time has to do with where your goals are. Uh, and that's different. It's going to change uh, as you get older, and it should. You just sort of need to be uh, tuned into it and pay attention to how that all works.